Hey, what's going on world? Austin Neary hanging out at Dreamcatchers Fish and Supply in Silva. I'm on Facebook Live at the same time I'm on the GoPro. So anyways, I wanna to talk to you guys today about uh, modifying your Shane's Baits A-Rig. Um, you know, using these things now for a couple years. I love them. I honestly believe uh, personally that they are the best A-Rig um, in bass fishing. They're a light wire. They're extremely easy to reel. And uh, they just are made with high quality components. Troy and Shane over there, LaHue, do a great job with these baits. But I wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, how I modify my A-Rig to get the best performance. Uh, one of the biggest problems I have with the Shane's Baits rigs is when I go to cast them, uh, a lot of times you just naturally go to cast. If you put the hooks on the front arms, a lot of times your line will come up and catch uh, the bait, the baits will come up, catch the line, and then all of a sudden when you're reeling in your A-Rig, it's coming in just kind of diagonally and all kinds of crazy. So what I like to do is take my Upper Blades of Glory, and this is my favorite rig, but I take an Upper Blades of Glory just like this. So it's a four wire up top with blades, and it's got five wires below. And what I'll do, and I've kind of went ahead and cut a bunch of the uh, little snaps off, but I, I take all the snaps on the front arms and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these little guys off. Um, I'm not going to be putting baits on up there, so uh, I'm going to cut it off. And when I say baits, I'm going to be putting baits on there, but I'm not going to be putting baits with hooks up there. So what I like to do is I like to take this brand of little screw-ons, hitchhikers, just like that, the little hitchhikers, and I'll put them through the bait, like so, just like that. And I'll screw them on, and what I'll do is essentially take the little barrel swivel that's on it, and I'll take that barrel swivel, and I'll put it on the bait, just like that. And what I'll finish doing is I'll finish just screwing it up all the way. So I'll take it and screw it another, you know, maybe quarter of an inch up to where it's almost touching that swivel, just like that. So if you can see that, I've got the barrel swivel, I've got the barrel swivel to the spring, and I'm literally loading that bait all the way up the spring. So I'm gonna take that arm and bend it out. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I've pre-made a couple of these just to uh, kind of show you guys what's going on. So I take this one, same kind of deal. I've got that screw uh, screwed into that Kai Tech, and I'm gonna take that screw and put it on the barrel swivel like so. And what this is gonna do is totally gonna cut down. And when I say totally, I mean where you get hung up, you know, maybe three or four times every 20 casts, this is literally gonna make it where you might hang up three or four times in a day. Uh, I'm a big fan of doing my Shane Spade stuff like this and throwing dummy rigs. Very rarely have I noticed they eat the top top lures on the rig. So, so far, that's what we have. You can see it, just dummies up front. And I'm gonna bend out this other one, just like that. Bend out the other one, just like that. And I'm gonna put this guy on. And this is this is the, uh, I mean, I'm serious. These, this is the best way to do it, to limit how many times you're fouling up on your cast. And like I said, I very rarely, when bass are hunting schools of bait fish, they're, they're almost exclusively coming from the bottom or behind the bait and pushing forward. So most of the time, the the uh, lures that are on the front of your A-Rig won't get eaten. Most of the time, when you get your A-Rig eaten, it's gonna be those back guys, the one that's hanging furthest back, uh, the one that's hanging uh, the lowest, are oftentimes the one that gets eaten. So I'm gonna do the last one, just kinda on video to show you guys. I just take that centering pin real easy, just go right through the nose, just like this. And I'm just screwing that little guy on there. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll leave some space so I can have some room to clip it onto the barrel swivel on the top of the rig. So I leave about that much space. Leave about that much space. So I clip that on just like that. Screw it up. So just like that. So just like that, I've got four dummies on the top and I'm throwing Kitech 3.3s with those. So I'm actually gonna bend those arms up a little bit too. I want them at about a not quite 90 degree angle 
with the hook, but there you go, just like that. So that's the that's the top, and those are just dummies. And what happens is when you cast, sometimes you know when you're using the hook, it'll come around and catch your line like that, and then your A rig looks all kinds of screwy coming in. But when you're throwing dummies like that, it makes the A rig lighter, way more easy to reel, super easy to maintain and maneuver. Uh, the castability of it, everything on it is just absolutely awesome. So I'm taking those uh, those just those clips those spring clips i'm screwing it all the way on and those are just dummies absolutely no hooks and seriously I, this winter time i probably caught maybe between 60 and 70 fish on an a rig and i might have got five or six bites where they came up and flushed the top bait and i wouldn't get them but i almost always come back out of out of those maybe four or five times that they hit the top of the rig and didn't hook them they were kind of upset they didn't get a shad so they'd come and then they'd end up getting hooked or maybe another fish in the school would come grab the one uh, on the bottom so it's not a real big deal to me putting hooks up there because honestly it just it helps my efficiency with casting i can fish it faster uh, i can fish it on the points better so what i'm doing is i'm literally putting those dummies on and it really like i said it, it may have cost me four or five fish this winter time and even then when i got bit with on the top of the dummies i would almost always get bit below you know they'd come back they'd hit that i'd set the hook I'd keep reeling it and they'd come and grab the other one and uh, they'd be hooked up. So that's what the top looks like. That's the biggest key. The biggest modification to this rig I make is I'm cutting off those snaps that are on the top and I'm literally putting the springs straight to the barrel. And when I put the spring straight to the barrel, when I put the spring straight to the barrel, it's not, it's literally, this thing could wrap around, the barrel could wrap around, whatever. This thing will always find a way to, to go back. I, before I was snapping off these barrels and then what was going on was I'd screw it right to the arm, but sometimes the bait would wrap around like that. Um, but now it won't do that because you have, you know, just kind of the leverage of that barrel to help make that bait fall back on the A-Rig. So when it's swimming, it's swimming true. So that is the absolute biggest key in how I modify my Shane's Baits A-Rig. I'm cutting off that top clip. I'm putting on a spring through that Kai Tech, and then, uh, and then I'm just using it like so. So now I'm going to attach the bottom ones and I've went ahead and pre-rigged those just to kind of speed up this video. And I prefer with the Shane's baits. I like a 2.8. I like a 3.3. You know, I don't. I don't think it matters. You get a lot of guys that you know are real. You know, real big on even colors and everything, dude. I don't even think the colors matter. I think those fish. If you're presenting this bait in the strike zone, and it looks natural, it looks like a school of bait fish. You're gonna catch fish on it. So I'm going ahead and putting fancy heads. The the heads we use for these. Uh, Phil Henry and his wife out of East Tennessee make them. They're called Fancy Baits. Uh, they are so awesome. They are honestly the best heads. I use 1 16th ounce. Super small with them. And uh, they're just really key to just that bait, that rig. I just like because I can reel it a little slower. So it's super key. But just taking these little Kytex and putting them on like so. Just like this little little one sixteenth ounce boogers, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bend all these out here in a second. So so just like this, and I've got a couple more I've got to do. I just have one more I got to do the one in the back. So now that's that's what my guy looks like. Super thin wire, super easy to retrieve in the water. Man, I'm telling you, just absolutely perfect. I'll offset these to make sure that these guys have plenty of room to swim. And uh, man, like just that right there, that right there is just next level. So then I take the last one. I've got one more I've got to put on. And I'm once again, just using a Kytec 3.3. My, honestly, my favorite color with these, probably the Alewife. Uh, just I think the Alewife looks most like, most like a little herring. Um, it's my like i said that's my personal favorite and i'll take what's so unique about the fancy heads and i use all my independent swim baits on a fancy head uh what's unique about them is they're actually a textured powder coat they're a sand they have a sand in the powder coat so it's kind of hard to tell uh on the deal but it's actually granulated so what's cool is when you put that kytec on that kytec naturally just kind of cures to that head real well so what i'll do is i usually go ahead and I'll just kind of line it up to see about where it'd be flush. 
I'm gonna put that dude in. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You get some guys that are like absolutely anal and OCD about their swim baits being perfect on it. They don't have to be. So I'm gonna pull that little super glue thing. I put one, literally one drop of super glue is all you need on these guys. So put that one little micro drop of super glue. And then I'm gonna take that guy and I'm gonna pull him up just like that. That's she. And I take it, put it on the rig, just like that. There you go. You've got a game ready, game ready A rig. Awesome. You know, we utilize these huge on our guide trips. You know, they're great, they're great baits. And I like I I tell people this. I used to be the biggest A rig hater. Um, super misunderstood bait from from my perspective. Uh, you know, I'd say like, oh, that's dumb. I, I grew up, you know, my dad taught me to use one. And honestly, it was just, I didn't understand how to do it. And, uh, but you know, they're great. They're great. You can use them like a spinner bait. I mean, use them where you're using a single swim bait, whatever, you know, they're great. And it's one of those things. It's not, it's not real. I mean, it's not a secret, you know, an A rig catches fish, but uh, I just wanted to come to you guys and show y'all kind of what I do to make these these a-rigs a little more efficient when i do fish them um once again i'm just literally putting dummies on the top that's really the only special thing i'm, I'm clipping that guy on the top but here's the deal swing by dream catchers fishing supply we have very 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 limited quantities in this guy so uh literally this i've got two left after this one so if you guys want this exact rig it's here at Dreamcatcher's Fishing Supply. It's for sale. I literally just wanted to set it up and show guys how I'm doing uh, the modifications on the Shane Bates A-Rig to make it a next level A-Rig so you can put bigger and more fish in the boat. So anyways, swing by Dreamcatcher, Dreamcatcher's Fishing Supply. Call us at 828-354-0250. Uh, you can come by the shop. That's 21 Steeple Road, Silva, or uh, 1331 North Green Street in Morganton. So... That's the Shane Bates A rig, one of the best A rigs. This one, there's a bunch of them. We got, we've got all. Believe it or not, we have all of what I would consider our best A rigs in stock right now. But definitely the Shane Bates in limited quantities. So, anyway, swing by Dream Catcher Fish Supply. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this video helps you catch more fish. So we got all the components from the springs, the clips, everything right here at Dream Catcher Fish Supply. So see you guys. Have a great day.